words Just do what you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head Is me and you Both speed and my heart is pacing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you transplants okay and I have here basil and here I just planted a few days ago ground cherry something new I'm trying okay y'all ground cherry okay and um it's sitting on that um on that plant tilt I was telling you about you can raise your plant pots up sitting on it or you can transport heavy pots easier put that wheels on it okay and it locks okay and this is my herb garden Everberry strawberry. And this is cinnamon, okay? And um, this is some marigold seed I put here, okay? So I'm gonna be also harvesting some of my sugar peas over there. But we're gonna start over here by the straw by the um squash and zucchini first, okay y'all? Alright, come on. Okay, fam, these are my squash, okay? I have straight neck and crooked neck squash in there, okay? Look at that, y'all. That's the squash. If y'all remember from the first one, it was no squash or flowers. But look now, okay? These are the squash. Mm -hmm. And here is my zucchini. Now come look over here. It's a real big one right there. See? That is the zucchini. And I've been self-pollinating also, y'all. To the bees coming out here. Mm -hmm. And here go a little zucchini finna get started. Right there. And self pollinate. You find the male flower and you use the stem and you just rub it on the females. Right? And that's how you do it. Okay. And this here is my. This is my early blueberry bush, okay? It was bare root, okay? Yeah. And this is the emerald blueberry bush. It was a plant. Y'all saw me pop that. Mm -hmm. That is my compost pile. Mm -hmm. Vegetable scraps, stuff like that. These are sunflower seeds. This is some kale, some kale yes. I didn't harvest some of them, but I'm just letting them grow the seeds, okay? And if I get another bunch out of it before it get too hot and they start bolting, then that's fine too. So that's the kale. These are some marigold seeds I put down. Onions. Red leaf mustard, because I have a tag on there, y'all tell you what they are. Remind me. Some onions here. And um, collards. White potatoes, okay? Onions, okay? And these are the pack, the pack chew I have planted. I'm saving them for seeds, okay? So once they dry out, I'll save them for seeds for next year, okay? 
and that is some sunflower seeds over there. Now I'm holding this bowl because I'm going to be harvesting the peas there in a minute, okay? But I see I have a garlic here, right y'all? So I'm going to dig that up, okay? And I see it, you know, it's broke off right here, so I see it's red. And this is a garlic that I took from the house that I get from the grocery store. And I just put a, a clove there. And we don't want to tear it up. And here you go. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. That's right, y'all. Y'all see that? Okay, I'm going to let it dry out here till I come back and get it in a bit. Okay? And that's onions, okay? Now I'm going to finish this. Y'all see the garlic, right? And these are some sweet potato Georgia slips. Sweet potato slips I put out here, okay? And that's a sunflower seed. I believe I mentioned that. And I've got some ginger here, too. That hasn't come up yet. And these are my cantaloupes. I just have flowers right now. But you know the flowers are turned to fruit. And these are my watermelon. potatoes here. I have pear tomatoes. I have some onions. I have um, tomatillas. I planted here. Mm -hmm. This is my better boy plant and just driving. Okay. They go a green tomato right down here. Right there. A tomato. Mm -hmm. This is my big boy. Mm -hmm. Asparagus. We've been harvesting off of that. Um, marigolds, I planted by seeds. These are some more onions. I already took some of the tops off and used them in stir fry. Mm -hmm. More onions. Mm -hmm. I had some garlic there too. Mm -hmm. Onions, jalapeno peppers, mm -hmm. sunflowers. Red beets, onions, cucumber, and green beans. That's trailing up here on the sugar peas. Let me see sugar peas, y'all. Okay. Okay. Because when I ordered it from the company, it was like, what is it? 
years ago, eight years ago, okay? The first three years I had it in a pot on the porch because it's supposed to be a dwarf peach tree, right? And then when I came here, I put it in the ground, right? We never got food off of it, never even seen food off of it, okay? So the other day I came out, every day we look up and say, okay, is there any fruit? No, no fruit, no fruit. And then one day I came out and I saw this fruit here, y'all. Y'all talking about something. It's a plum tree, y'all. They told us it was a peach tree, but it's a plum tree. So we happy about that one fruit. <laughs> yeah, well, that one plant after all these years, just the only fruit that ever been on that. And earlier we had a bunch of them on there with the little uh but the stem stem turned brown and they fell off. I guess the, the wind must have blown them off or something. Yeah. But this one right here survives and now we know exactly what kind of tree is here. It's a plum tree, it's not a peach tree. It's a plum tree and it's not a dwarf peach tree. Yeah. Uh uh. It's a plum tree yeah. and a big one. Yeah. So that's what we got. So don't ever give up on your trees, cause we about to give yeah. up on it. Yeah. It must have overheard us. I got digging it up. Yeah. And it's sold in a patio tree. Yeah, yeah. So that's well, it. It survived. Now it's about to have fruit. Now we're about to have fruit. So hopefully next year it'll have more than okay. just that one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. And um, that's it on that. And we overheard that. We heard that you could put tape around the bark and keep the ants off your fruit. And I put coffee grinds around it. So that's what that is. Okay. And y'all remember the big tree? It was like a stick, right? When I did it. What was it? When I did the first tour a few weeks ago. Look at it, y'all. So now we just waiting on fruit. We got a lot of meat. Now we waiting on fruit. And this was from last year, okay? I covered it up in the winter and it made it. And this is something that we try to put concrete. We hear you can just chop and drop. It's good for the fertilizer. Your plants are good for, for fertilizing your soil. You can even put it in a pot and let it make tea, okay? And water your pot. And water your plants. With it. So that's concrete. Give up on it. We got it in this pot and we just gonna baby it and see what happens, okay? A fusca kumquat plug. Okay. And we'll get our Miwa another time, but that's the fusca and we blessed for that. It's still here. And this is the Maya lemon, y'all, that we chopped down from last year that we thought didn't make it. Look, it's coming. Mm -hmm. And this is the Papiana plum, Papiana plum granite tree. It's doing all right. Doing good too. This is more comfrey. Mm -hmm. And these are my hearty kiwi. Mm -hmm. And over here is my Santa Ana plum tree. Now 
kepala Senna real good about it. She don't mess with the stuff. She won't wait for it to grow too, just like us. So she eats vegetables too, y'all. This is the eggplant black beauty, okay? Put that in the pot and some onions. I had mixed greens there. We harvested those and now I transplanted some black beauty, eggplant. And this is the Swiss chard. We done harvest some of this too. But I'm saving this to go to seed and let more grow. is our vegetable garden tour update and harvest, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.